All right, we got head coach Cam Yetheridge. Coach, just talk about what you saw out there tonight. Yeah, just disappointed in our team and, and our answer in the second half. Obviously, a hard-fought game in the first half. I thought we left some points out there. Didn't handle their, their zone when they went zone. Thought we had could have had some good looks there. Um, you know, and felt like we guarded them pretty well. Guarded them to our scout. I think we made one mistake of going under on a, on a screen, and they burned us on that one. Just disappointed in our third quarter, disappointed that we made mistakes on the kids that we didn't want to, you know, go under on ball screens and, and you know, give up spot up three. So giving up 27 points in that half really separated them. And again, I don't know until I watch the film to see if we got some good looks. I thought their physicality really bothered us. I thought the whiting on the ball pressure was, you know, it really disrupted us and uh, didn't have an answer for that. And then obviously Gibb played a great second half and, and dominated the game in the second half. You talk about the mistakes a little bit, but was were there any adjustments that BYU made that maybe led to some of that? Well, again, I just think they got loose on like three threes that just separated them really, really quick. I mean, it was hard fought for the first half of that third quarter. In fact, I think we, we kind of took the lead, but um, you know, we just we just just made you know glaring mistakes on going under on players. We said don't go under on. Uh, didn't answer those runs that they made. Um, you know, and all that being said, you know the disappointment of they're going nine for twenty from three. Again, the players we didn't want to take them got them. Um, they still score seventy two points. It's a game that we've got to manage and got to be in better offensively. So I can look at the defensive things and see the separation there uh, out of the mistakes. But we still have to find ways to, to be better on the offensive end against that kind of pressure. Got to find answers. Um, I thought Tara gave us some good answers tonight. Just unfortunate. LA doesn't have a great game. AT doesn't have a great game shooting. And our three-point shooting wasn't good enough. And maybe that's just the way it's going to be until we knock some down. They, they really crowd the floor. And they dare us to shoot. And we're just not making enough to to you know make a difference what do you take from this game just to learn from with you got one more game Sunday obviously and then into conference play well I mean it's a long season and we just have to find ways to get better I think we can learn a lot from this this uh this film I think if any one of our any in our program walks away feeling sorry for themselves in any way you know you just have the wrong reaction I think everybody needs to be upset everybody needs to be mad everybody needs to be determined to walk into the gym tomorrow and um, improve on the things that we're not good enough at again young players um, it's not an excuse they have a freshman who scored 26 so we we've, we've got to answer the bell to what is required in this game which is toughness and which is physicality and um and, you know, basically you just can't feel sorry for yourself or make excuses. And I think that's what I expect tomorrow when they walk in the gym. And if we do, we have a chance to, to get better and, you know, be a better team on Sunday. But certainly going forward, be more prepared for what we might see down the road. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Go Cougs.